Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. In today's video we're going to be doing the testing of the RetroPie GPI case, the ultimate one-to-eight build from Arcade Punks. This has everything. It literally is jam-packed full of goodness. I think it's called Little Piggies. I'm not too sure. I'll have to double check. But also one of my subscribers said when they first came to my channel they were heavily influenced by it and went out and got a nintendo switch sonic game sonic mania and asked it'd be great to do a video of why i get into emulation how i got into gaming i'll keep it very brief it's just the start of the, the video and also it's a mini sponsor for this channel as well because the sponsor is me also, one of my subscribers asked and inquired about one of the cushions that I have. As you can see, it's got Amy Rose trapped in a bubble behind a waterfall. And also we have Rogue with a big massive pin with a deviant look on her face. Uh, about to pop it and Amy doesn't look too pleased. If you have a look at my channel, guys, I actually, my second biggest passion is art. I do digital art. But I also have my artwork on a store where you can get 50 inch cushions. Really nice, really soft. They're absolutely huge. There's my hand in the bottom corner. That'll just give you like some type of indication of just how big these cushions are. They're absolutely massive. There's another one. So I'm gonna do like a little tour Somebody asked as well as how many systems do I have? I have a lot, like an awful lot. Um, I've put a selection of them out. Uh, this is what I do my artwork on. I do my artwork with an iPad Pro, the latest model with the Apple Pencil. This one's called Sonic of War. Obviously it's the iconic picture, but I've just added the Sonic characters into the picture instead. All my artwork can be seen on my channel. It doesn't get much love. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could check it out. Maybe leave some comments on there. Maybe boost my ego. I do it as a hobby. It's something that I love. Um, yeah. But not only that, guys. But here are a selection of some of the handhelds that I have. Retro handhelds. I've got the Game Boy Pocket. Obviously the new two-tone 3 fit. Uh, RG280 uh, ATM of the GPD uh, XD, which obviously I've only just recently got. We've got the Retro Pocket, we have RG350M, the LCL Game Boy, the CM3, we have the new RS, we have the V90, we have the original <coughs> RG350, we've got the Ojo Govan's Black. Yeah, I have a lot, a lot of the G, is it G, G H 350? HG 350? I don't remember Yep, yeah, as you can see, the X2, I have a lot, a lot of systems. So, this is my bedroom. Uh, at the side of my bed, I have a screen. Digitize a screen, obviously for my Switch, so I can play it while I'm lying in bed or take it out and handheld. I have the Wii U, obviously games behind it, and also the Wii. Next to that, next to my bed is the PSP with a selection of games. I've got more games, but they're just the best ones that I play. I have the PS Vita and the selection of games. There's still a couple of games there that I've yet to unwrap. I've got the 3DS, so yeah, I, uh, I'm i spoiled for choice when I'm lying in bed, uh, what games to play. As I swivel around, I also have a 60 inch TV with the Logitech steering wheel, gear stick, pedals, I also have as I say, my Wii U, my GameCube, just a selection of games that I have up here. 
couple of wee pads, some very rare and exclusive Amiibos. Also a big massive Yoshi in the back. I have, I think, 280 Amiibos. Uh, they're, all, they're all being currently rearranged. Um, if I can, I'll put a picture up of just how many I've got and where I used to have them. But I'm kind of doing a games room. So once it's finished, I'll do a tour of the games room as well. Um, just a selection of titles that I play up here. The majority of the stuff is downstairs. I've got my Xbox One X, um, which I play a lot of Forza. I'm not very good, but obviously, yeah. I've got UMDs, movies for the PSP. So yeah, I have a lot, guys. <laughs> yeah, so check the store out. I'll put the link to the store of all the stuff that you can get. Not only do you have cushions, but also you can get cups with my artwork on, which is pretty nice. This one is called Sonic of War, which is pretty cool. I'm really proud of this one. I really like it. Yep. Also, there are iPhone covers. This one is another picture that I did, or painting I did, should I say. So yeah, feel free to check out the store. Don't have to uh, buy anything. Just check it out and give me a bit of feedback on it. it would be absolutely fantastic, really, to be honest. Yeah, so the reasons why I got into gaming was because I bloody love it, that's it. Nothing special. Now, as you can hear in the background, we've got the music, and in the middle we have the Retro Flag G Pie case. Now, the build that I'm going to show you from Arcade Punk is the main reasons why I love emulation. Is just the dedication and passion for people that go out their way and spend numerous amounts of hours. These developers go out to make the experience as best as it possibly can be to enjoy some of the most retro, classic, amazing games that we've ever seen in existence that lead forward to the day now where we have PS5 and obviously all the new systems, PCs, everything. Like, it really is truly remarkable. This build is fantastic. If you don't have a, GPI, a retro flight GPI case, I strongly recommend if you can pick one up second hand, you'll probably get it for about 30, 40 pound. Get the CM3 uh, add-on to it as well to maximize and boost that level of performance. And as I say, this front-end image is absolutely incredible. So I'll stop waffling on. Thanks for uh, taking the time to listen to me. Um, thanks to the subscriber suggesting that, to show a video of what I have and why I like gaming and obviously, yeah, uh, I hope I didn't disappoint. And I hope it's something that you guys are passionate about as well. So I'm going to stop it here and let's have the games and the build do the talking. Hello guys. Yeah, sorry to bore you with that crap at the beginning. Um, yeah, let me know what you think, guys, of the artwork. And also, yeah, if you can check it out, that would be absolutely awesome. I really do appreciate it. And for all the new subscribers, welcome. And let's get into this build. Now, I did show a brief look at this, uh, and a lot of people were like, oh, I'm really interested in this build and what it can do. But yeah, the, it's just a fantastic build. I strongly recommend, um, if you can pick up one of these cheap, go for it. You won't be disappointed. I know it's limited. It has four buttons, two at the back, so six buttons. Quite limited, no analog stick, but a D-pad. But... For the price and what this thing can do, it is pretty special. So I'm going to, it's going to be a showcase. So I'm going to literally just show what's on here, go through all the emulators, go through all the systems, and then do some light emulation testing uh, later on in the video. As always, let's have the build, do the talking. So pretty standard layout. Got arcade, 
CPS, one, two, and three. Delphine, Atmos Wave, Naomi, Atari. This thing has virtually everything. It's absolutely fantastic. Not only that, but you can also change the interface on it. If you press the left trigger button, um, it will then cycle through different theme sets. So you can choose, some have music, some doesn't. This is the one that I really like. So, yep, you can go through all the Sega Classic games. So if I go into Sega Classic, actually, while I'm here. So when you go in, you have a video snap of the game that you're going to play. Also, not only that, but you can also customize the image here as well, not only on the main menu, but also here as well by also clicking the trigger. So when you click the trigger, it gives you the layouts. Personally, I like this one. So these are just, I'd say, oof, maybe 160 to 170 Sega games. Which is pretty cool. And then obviously you got all the SNK. So you can change the theme set as well to how you like it. Which is pretty nice. And then obviously you can cycle through each of the games with the name of the game on the right hand side. going through okay so that's what happens when you go inside the actual emulator itself but let's concentrate more on what's on here so we have arcades which have just gone through we also have computers so let's go into here This is the list. And same again, if you go into it, you then have a selected few ports. All these games are literally installed and loaded already. Same again, you can literally change the layout on absolutely everything. There's been a lot of dedication and care put into this build. I really, really admire them for doing it. Let's just jump into a game. In fact, before we go into a game, let me show you what it's like from the start. Sorry guys, I'll try not to make this one a long one. It's got a beautiful little screen. 
As you can see guys, it's running flawlessly, very smooth. Oh, I never get tired of this game, so good. Yeah, I'd love to know what you think of this build, guys. I think there's 1,400 actually on this. A crazy game, that is. Take a hike, pal. Obviously, the buttons haven't been mapped for that. I think it's going to be pretty. There we go. So, all we need to do is go to controllers. We need to find. Left and right, up, down, here we go. I never remember if left is minus or right is plus. Let's go with minus and plus. There's acceleration. Okay, R2, R2, let's go with acceleration with that. Back, 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 quick menu, resume, let's go. There we go, let's start again, shall we? Yeah, always an arcade game seems to never have the buttons figured properly. There we go. Yeah, you can you can tell straight away that literally the performance is so good. Full speed. It's just so smooth. And it does make a difference when playing the games. Whoa. Flip it. Whee! Okay. 
I think everybody pretty knows the standard FBA main. Okay, let's get to some consoles. So we got PlayStation. It's 239, no, 290 games. Sega Dreamcast, there is 29. Sega CD, 29. 29 again. Seems to be the magic number. Mega Drive. Mega Drive hacks. Dreamcast. SNK and 64. Nintendo, NES. Yeah, there's a lot. It's absolutely rampacked. Turbo graphics. Turbo graphics CD as well. Very nice. Turbo graphics 16, PC engine. Clico, Atari, okay, so let's go with some Dreamcast. So we got Aqua GT, let's give this a go. Looked a bit glitchy there, didn't it? I've not tested any of these guys. Um, played maybe a handful, maybe three or four, five games, maybe. Mixed bag on each. So if they don't work, then I'm finding girls equally as well as you guys. Yep, this one's running perfectly fine. And just to let you know, guys, that the D-pad on this is lovely. But what's not lovely is my driving. Woo! Yeah, that's running full speed. Well, a few little minor hiccups there. But yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. Ooh. I didn't notice, was this a time trial? Yep, anyway, it works. Let's move on to the next. Confidential mission, we all know what that is. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I wonder what version it's going to be. Is it going to be the unlocked version with all the characters? Or is it going to have to be played right the way through to unlock them all? We will find out. Let's go with 60 hertz, see if that'll display it. I'm gonna take you for a ride. Yeah, 
tell you what we're going to do. When we come back out, we're going to go back in and we're going to do 50. Because that was running quite slow. Now this is more than capable enough to do that. <clears throat> Unless it's the emulator using it, they've used itself. You can take the SD card out as well and put it into the computer and go to the config files and also you can choose what emulators and also settings on there as well, which is really good, especially if you're having trouble with certain emulators. It's great about builds like this is the fact that you have that opportunity to do so. That seems to be better. But I might go in on Dreamcast and just change some settings maybe. Not now, but later on. Nope, it's just a standard goddamn version. Let's uh, go through. Oh, that's good. It hasn't got the uh, lines going through the characters. I hate it when you get that version. Okay, on to the next. Everyone seen Power Stone? Let's do a bit of uh, Soul Calibur. Tell you what, this has been out for a while, but when it first came out, you just have to be kind of being impressed with the screen. Okay, let's move on to M sixty four. We got Smash. Let's change the interface actually. Oh, I quite like that one. It's still my favourite. 
Super Mario Odyssey. Let's check this out. I think it's just Super Mario 64, but with maybe some graphical enhancements. Let's see. It's me, Mario. Hello. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, one thing with the CM3 Plus is N64 runs flawlessly. And people always ask, uh, obviously, once I had the Pi Zero, they were like, how can you play Super Mario with a D-pad? Quite simple. It is very responsive. And as you can see, guys, it runs flawlessly. So smooth, full speed. Very enjoyable experience. And yet, if you go to the settings, you can look up. I know a lot of people always ask, like, I get these devices, but I can't seem to look up. You can always change them in the settings, the configuration settings anyway, but the majority of the games will be preset and pre-configured for you, bar arcade. But that's standard across the board of all emulation and everything, really. But as you can see, it looks beautiful. It runs really smooth. Mario's got Cappy. She can't go wrong. The best way to test the performance of Mario 64 is actually in-game uh, when you go to the open worlds. If you're in the start and also in the castle itself, pretty much even poor systems uh, can run really well. This is the test. Go away, boom boom.
Yep, we have no problem with Super Mario. Okay, let's try a harder to win game. I'll make this the last one of the consoles and N64, and then I'll move on to a bit of Naomi and Atmos Wave. I know people will be interested to see how that runs. Bit of Dolphin Blue. A fist of the North Star. I should have tested uh, Conker's Bad Fair Day, actually, if it was there. Hmm. Maybe in another video. Yeah, let me know if you want me to do a few videos on this, guys. Testing even more systems that I've shown. Just let me know in the comments and I will do my best to do a few more. Also, to let you know that I've also got the... 400 gigabyte ultimate build for the... GPD Win 2. Um, it's been three days downloading for three days now. I think there's only one day and 20 hours left or something. So not long. So that's why I haven't done any more of the uh, Win 2. Uh, just simply just I need to wait for that to download. I've lost R2! What a ship. Still to this day, one of the best starships ever. Saying that, I do love the ship from the original Battlestar Galactica. Turn it down, because otherwise it's going to be a copyright strike! Predominantly, you can't skip it. Oh, yes, you can. Thank goodness. Good morning, Wedged. The Reds of Rogue Squadron is still back at base, but I thought we could take an early morning run through Beggar's Canyon. Did you know? Ahead, but not 
Definitely playable guys. It's not running a hundred percent but better than most. It really is a hard one to emulate this one. See, it's definitely most definitely playable. You can do the R loop the loop. Control is really nice, actually. Okay, let's move on to some Atmos Wave Naomi and then call it a day for this one. Yeah, each choice has uh, a little bit of a video and music as well, which is really cool. Such a great build. And obviously you can change the layout as well for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 yeah, just a quick one as well, guys. I know uh, a lot of people say that they didn't get it because it was batteries, but what you want to do is get yourself. 3,000 milliamp batteries um, get a pack of eight. Uh, they only take three, but these batteries will last you at least, I'd say maybe four hours, five hours. But obviously you just swap them out, charge them up and you'll always have constant play. But wow. This is such a great game. It's not running at full speed, but it's most certainly playable. Better than most systems.
Okay, next. Fist of the North Star, such a classic anime. In fact, you're already dead. Knock the camera over there. Yo, buddy, the time of retribution. That one decide the destiny. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here, guys. Yeah, let me know if there's any more videos that you wish to see on the Retro Flag GPI case with the CM3 build. And also, yeah, let me know what you think of it so far. I, 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 if you can pick this up cheap, guys, get it. I don't think you'll be disappointed whatsoever. And the actual arcade punk build itself, front end is absolutely stunning it's one of the best ones that i've seen so far it looks pretty very interchangeable easy to manage as i say you can also swap out um, the emulators and do lots of tweaking behind the scenes with the sd card on a pc uh, if you do need to change any settings yep as always guys uh, thank you very much for watching and take care